what is up guys today is baby girls nursery reveal and i am so excited to share with you guys um there is a couple of things i still need to do but overall it is ready um and i really wanted to share with you guys and i'm so excited i'm just so excited for her to be here it is so cool to have done like the whole boy thing and the girl thing i'm very grateful and yeah so without further ado let's just see her nursery reveal tour thing <laughs> hey guys the moment i have been waiting for it, to share her nursery i am so excited so as you guys know this is going to be her and bubby's playroom it's kind of a big mess right now but just kind of like a fun little room for them and then right next door is her nursery so as we come in we see this cow print um i got this printed actually offline and then i just got the frame i think at michael's but then, yeah, so you walk in. It's gonna take a little while to adjust. But it's kind of just like a very simple themed bedroom. I think I'm gonna take down that. Oops, sorry, the lighting is gonna take a little while to adjust in here. There we go. Um, I'm gonna take down that pink poof, but. So yeah, over on this side, we have her dresser. Um, this is just from Ikea. Um, we have our um, cart that's just full with all of the necessities. We got some diapers. Thing is, I'm going to have two babes in diapers for a little while, so I don't have the changing table or the genie in here. That's still in Cohen's room because I think I'm actually going to be changing her in there for now. Um, yeah, that's just what I kind of thought. And then she has lots more bows, but these are the only ones that I put out for now. Um, and then as you go up you to see some like bohemian stuff this is from um a company on instagram i'll leave them tagged down below and then this is actually from um, amazon it was honestly i want to say like six dollars and it's so cute and i love it and then over to this side so we just have the swing that's probably going to be moved into the living room and then bubby's chair he's going to be getting like a toddler bedroom transformation coming up here like give it another like I don't know six months probably at the end of the summer or sorry beginning of the new year so his rocking chair will go in here because I didn't actually use it at all with him and that's just a choice thing but then over here you have some cubes so yeah that pink poof I think is going to go <laughs> um but I just have a couple things I have a gender reveal picture just a couple cow things, bohemian beads from the same store as the mirror. Um, I actually found this super cute sign, I think at the dollar store, uh, super cute. And then this little pot as well as from the Instagram store. And then we got a cute little cow for her. And then we have just some curtains. I actually have dark, like dark blind curtains for her. Um, but they were so long, so I have to actually hem them. They're like a light pink that matches her wallpaper. So yeah. And then down here is just a wooden play set that I got from um, Place on our like local. But Amazon also sells them too. Um, I just need to get bits to like go on it, but I thought it was so cute. And then this little basket is from Ikea. And then this bush <laughs> is from... Walmart actually so cute and then over here just have a little picture frame I spray painted it white because it was black beautiful wallpaper is from rebel walls um I work with them lots they are amazing I have a very sad bubby today guys <laughs> but yeah so I'm obsessed with how this wallpaper turned out and then I got this macrame wall thing from Amazon super super reasonable um I'll have the link down below if you guys are interested I still might do like a garland here. I don't know. We'll see. I think it's so pretty though. Grumpy friend that just joined me. You want to say hi? Say hi. <laughs> and Dal's in here now too. Hi. Do you want out? But yeah, so as I was finishing up here, so the macrame thing is from Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below. The only other thing I have on here is obviously the camera. Um, the crib is Graco. 
uh, is actually from Copper Pearl. I'm obsessed with it. I just wanted to go super simple because of the wallpaper. So the wallpaper is just so crazy that I was like, the idea in this room was to keep it just very simple. Um, and as you guys know, this is our second baby too, so we didn't need a lot of things. Um, but the pillow is from Ikea. These are just some cute things that our friends got us. Um, and then this blanket I actually used with Cohen. So he keeps saying baby because I keep calling this baby's room. And then she has this big closet that has a bunch of stuff in it. Not organized whatsoever, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> so we're gonna keep that closed for now. But this is kind of a big overview of the room. Yeah, so this is kind of the vibe in the room, just super simple, super cute. I'll probably end up adding more wall stuff because this wall is pretty plain. I actually have a girl local that's making a measure. Like you guys know those like, what do you call them? Not rulers, but like they're for kids. So I was thinking of putting that right here once she's done. Um, so yeah, that's the last thing I'm waiting for in this room. He's having a rough day, guys. Aren't we all, hey? Aren't we all? What, you want Mama to bend down with you? But yeah, I'm just so excited for her to be here. But yeah, I know she hasn't used this room for a very long time, or yeah, not for a very long time, but I just wanted to have it ready for her. <laughs> Go in, baby. But yeah, so I'm just so excited. It's such a pretty room for her. It's so fun to have done like a boy's room and now I've done a girl's room. So I know, I just love it. It's so fun. Um, but I actually highly recommend these carts, guys. So organized, so perfect for a nursery. And yeah, Dal seems to love it. So we're loving it in here. <laughs> and this is my reality today. Hey, baby. He has been so sad the past like week. I have a feeling he's teething. Because just little things like he's a 7 to 7 sleeper. So he goes to bed at 7 every night. That's just like him. Like he just loves to go to sleep. <laughs> and and um, yeah, he's been having a hard time going to sleep. And then he wakes up so early. Um, and you can just tell like he's just kind of in pain. So I'm hoping we get this over with before baby girl gets here. Hey. Hi, sweet boy. He's very mummy right now too, which is super weird because we're just always around other people. So yeah, normally he's pretty good, but he's definitely all mummy right now. Hey, Guys, I'm getting big. Mummy's gonna have another baby soon. Are you gonna be the best big brother ever? He's also at that stage right now where he is like getting into everything slash like hurting himself. So he has like cuts and bruises and just all the things, hey? He bumped his tooth so hard today too. And that was bleeding for a little bit. I don't know, he's a hot mess, he's a boy, so. Yeah, you're a baby. He is like the happiest dude, guys. I'm not even kidding you. So it breaks my heart to see him like this. But yeah, so life is about to get a little crazy and yeah. I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> I'm taking all this time right now just to like take it all in. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I have like, everything linked down below as well. So, um, but yeah, there's a few more changes that'll happen in here, but I'll share it on my channel as I do them. But overall, her baby room is done. My hospital bag is packed. I am 36 weeks this week. Baby girl can come anytime. Well, according to Cohen, maybe not. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. I want you, hit you up. I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you, take you up.